everyone. Thanks so much for joining me. Stampin' Sue Creates here. Working on some more um, projects on my embroidery machine and thought I would share with you. Now, I've already done two blocks. I was up late last night. Couldn't sleep. A little nervous about the river. If you're brand new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. And give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear what you think about my videos. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks so much for coming back. So I started working on this late last night. And I've had, I've already posted, <coughs> excuse me, a few pictures. <coughs> my voice is going out. Online, this is a sweet pea design. I had purchased it last year and you know how it is. You purchase something, you don't have a chance to try it out. So, um, we're having some, like, pretty nasty weather here in northeastern Pennsylvania. It was hot. It was cold. Um, and now I live near a river, and the river is rising, and there's ice jams. And anyhow, um, long story. But um, I couldn't sleep last night, so I was up late uh, doing some embroidering. So, this is actually um, an Easter design, and it spells out Easter. And there's, of course, each block for each letter. And you can make it into a table runner. You can make it into a banner. You can make it into a quilt. You can make anything you want, anything at all, with their ideas. So this is the E. And um, I think it's really cute. So what did I do? I went through my stash of fabrics that I already have here. So I'm trying not to buy any more things because we all have lots of fabric. I don't know about you, but I'm like, feel like I'm hoarding fabric. So I have a ton of Easter fabric. So I did the E this way. And, um, you know, I, I, I know it's kind of busy, but hey, it's spring, it's Easter. And the A has this, oh my gosh, do you not love this little bunny holding that A? There's a little thread there. I think it is super cute. And I used like a fuzzy kind of fabric. So, um, I thought I would do a block with you with the s now i haven't done this block before so uh if this posts then you'll know it worked out if it doesn't post then you'll know like heck you know it didn't so close your eyes while i adjust the camera a little bit there we go i think that's good and i gotta tell you i don't know if you can hear this wind but it is nasty windy let me move those blocks over there nasty windy Okay, so I have in here cutaway stabilizer because that's what you want to use when you're using fabric. And I'm just looking for my um, blocks that I have here that I have pre-cut. And I apologize that, you know, I've had people comment actually like, you know, be better prepared. Yeah, well, I'm not. So, boohoo. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I have some warm and natural um batting and i'm going to put that in there and i'm using the five by seven this design comes with multiple sizes i believe even up to a six by five by seven i don't think it's four by four five by seven six by ten maybe eight by twelve i'm not really sure don't quote me on that but it is from sweet pea and i do have an affiliate link and i will post that down below in the description and what does that mean? That means if you use my link to go and order this design, I make a couple pennies off of it. And every little bit helps. Um, I throw it all back into my channel. And um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to put the foot down. I have um, just your basic, um, let me get the right name here. I'm using organ needles. And it's a 75 by 75 slash 11 needle. And I'm using um, warm and natural fiber fill. And I'm using a combination of growth thread and thread nanny. I have a couple different ones that are kind of running. And uh, that's what I got going on. So first off, you're going to do the stitch with put your batting down. And I may have to adjust you just a teeny bit more. Okay, I'm going to try not to hit the camera. So what you want to do then is take this out of your machine. You're going to trim around here. You want to get rid of the excess batting. So I'm just going to bring it down here where I can do it. I think my scissors need to be sharpened. Um, I do have specific, these are specific scissors I use for um, embroidery only. 
um, cutting fabric, batting, those sorts of things. You do want to make sure you do have a good pair of scissors that you devote. Now, all of a sudden, it decides that the sun is going to come out. <laughs> I'll tell you what kind of day it's been today. It has been cold, windy, snowy, sunny, sunning and snowing, um, snow squall, gosh, it's, um, I think we've had everything but 90 degree in sunshine. So <laughs> it's just been like that all day. And um, let me go ahead. Where did I put my fabric now? I had a specific lineup of fabric. Okay. Let me flip these over. Okay. So uh, let me read my blocks. I have the that block, that block. So I'm doing the A. Did I want to do the yellow? No, you know, I'm not going to do the yellow because this one has a chick on it. So, um, I don't want to do polka dot. Uh, hmm. E A S T E R. Okay. Let's do. That was polka dot. Let's do this one. This is like crazy fabric. Look at this. So when you're putting your fabric in, I know I have more than I need. You want to leave yourself um, some border on here. So I will trim this after. Oop, there's a thread. So like I'm saying, this is like on the fly. I don't have planned what I'm going to use. All right, let's go ahead and stitch this down. So this one's going to have a chick on it and an S. So I have a nice bright yellow. Right here. I think that's what I'm going to use for my chick. I never stick your hand in the hoop. Just saying. Don't stick your hand in the hoop. There's a thread on there. Don't stick your hands in the hoop. So I've been a little bit MIA lately. Um, I know y'all been missing me. Well, this has like a green... I'm not really sure what that is that goes through. I think it might be a little flower or something. I don't know. But this is a crazy fabric. Okay, so what I want to do is, um, let me get my bigger scissors. And um, we'll get started here, and then I'll tell you where I've been. Believe me, it hasn't been on any kind of tropical beach or anything anywhere. It's just been crazy, crazy busy. And I know everyone can relate to that these days, you know. It just seems like things are just busy anymore. They're just busy. Okay, now it's showing um, number 221, some green. And it just kind of does like a line going through. And I'm not really sure what that is all about. But um, because I have this crazy fabric, I think... I'm going to go with this one. Now, this is a bro thread. It's 515. They have 221, but eh, you do you. Okay, I got to trim my thread here. So, where have I been? Well, I have been right here. Um, uh, also, I work full-time, have a full-time job, and that's been really busy. My boss was away for the week, so I was the one that had to go in early and open up. So my schedule's been off. Not that, you know, I'm not up early in the morning. All right, let's go ahead and get this going. This is going to take 70 minutes to do the whole stitch out. So if you like the chit chat, stick around. If you don't, you can very easily fast forward. I don't mind that. So anyhow, I've had to go in. Uh, well, I didn't have to, but I had to go and uh, open up the building for everyone. And, and I like to go in early. Um, I work in an orthopedic office, and sometimes, you know, the doctors might come in early, or um, they may have to do an early x-ray or something, so I like to open up so when the girls come in, you know, someone's there and the doors are open if the doctors need anything. And um, I've just been so tired. How many of you can relate to being tired? I've just been so very, very tired, and... Um, between working full time and my business that I have with Stampin' Up, and that's kind of hopefully not in your way. Um, I just, you know, you just get to the point where you just can't burn the candle at both ends anymore. Okay, so now it's going to stitch out the S. All right, 
I'm going to go ahead and change my thread. And I have to decide what fabric I'm going to use for the S. Being this is so busy, busy. All right, I'm going to put my white thread back in. So, um, you know, I get home from work, you know, take care of the animals, what they need, uh, make myself some little dinner, sit in the chair to relax. And before you know it, I'm like, I wake up, I fell asleep. So I fall asleep a lot. I know you're probably all saying what my doctor's saying. You need to exercise. Yeah, well, um, I know. <laughs> and let's go ahead and stitch out the S. And I have to decide what fabric I'm going to use. But um, I know how it is. I know if you exercise, you will have more energy. I know, I know the whole gamut. I really, really know it all. But um, I just... Okay, so I'm thinking maybe that might be too much. I did have a um, pink. Let me dig in my pile here. Pile of fabrics. And I know I have not ironed this fabric. So this one is cute. It has little bunnies. So my concern is, am I going to see that underneath? If you're worried about seeing your fabric underneath, get your scissors here and cut that S out. Now, it does have stitching going through. But um, another thing you can do is maybe double up on your fabric. And being these are, this is like an all over pink with bunnies on, I'm going to double up my fabric. And I think this fabric, this one here, I think was at um, Dollar Tree. Actually, um, I was at last year, maybe two years ago. Um, make sure that's not flipped up. Oops, sorry. Dollar Tree was selling like fat quarters of fabric. And, okay, I'm going to use that. I know it's not trimmed or nothing. That's okay. But um, I had picked this one up, and they were kind of all rolled up in a, in a little roll and folded. And, you know, had I been, you know, a, a good uh, stitcherer, I would have ironed my fabric. But ironing in me, well, not one of my favorite things to do. Okay, so now I have to take my um, scissors again. I'm gonna take this out of the hoop. And um, I'm gonna, first off, I wanna cut around this. And you're going to cut out, this is called applique, if you're new to this. Let me, uh, let me take this down close to where I'm at. Cause I don't wanna end up cutting through the wrong thing. Now I'm cutting through double fabric here, keep that in mind. So where was I? Oh, that was Dollar Tree fabric. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna trim around my S. And kind of like when I cut paper, uh, I keep the scissors straight and I hold the paper. Well, I'm kind of doing the same thing with my hoop. I'm keeping my scissors straight and I'm moving the hoop. <laughs> Just because that was working there. Okay, now I have to get in a little more intricate so um, I'm going to just snip inside here around my S and I'm thinking I want to um, stitch this out with like a bright pink because the next step is going to stitch around this S that we're trimming. So I think this is a fun project to do. Um, I'm starting to find that uh, Sweet Pea Designs are probably my go-to designs. Um, they have so many beautiful designs. They do come with step-by-step -step instructions. And, um, I mean, they know what they're doing. They got it going on there, I'm telling you. Those gals over in Australia, they just, their designers are just top-notch. All right, I think that looks good. Oh, a little bit around the top of the S here. Okay. Okay. All right. So there's my S. All right. So I'm going to trim my um, thread again. But these are so cute to make. And um, they really don't take a whole lot of time. The best part is that they're fun. Okay. I think I like that pink. So I'm going to go with that. Now this one is uh, Thread Nanny. And the color is 085. 
So this is going to do the satin stitch around the S. And how do I know that? I know that because first off, you can follow step by step with Sweet Peas um, instructions, but my, uh, this is a Brother Essence. It's a VE2300 machine, and it has a color screen, and it shows you what the steps are. What's that piece of thread there? Let me get in here. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead. And now it's going to take five minutes. So I'm sure I can, pardon me, chit-chat for five minutes. Let me take a sip of my uh, Cinnamon Heights Hot Spice Tea. Love this tea from, I uh, get it through Amazon. Mmm, delicious. Okay, so uh, today I got up, and uh, actually my dog has been waking me up like to have to go to the outside to go to the bathroom like at 1 30 in the mornings which i'm sure is not helping my situation as far as going you know with sleeping and uh so then i went back to bed and i think it was 7 30 that she came back up and woke me up so then i was like okay so i like to watch some youtube videos made my my coffee in the morning and I took my medications and watched some YouTube videos and then I was like, okay, I've got to go get take a shower. And um, about mm, two weeks ago, maybe, I painted my bathroom, which was quite a fiasco for me because I thought, what's a bathroom? How hard can it be, right? Yeah, I'm not a painter. I'm a crafter. I'm not a painter. And um, it was interesting, but it looks really nice. It was a paint that my daughter had left over when she had done her kitchen. And it's uh, such a pretty color. It's almost like a very light sage. So I had purchased um, a new shower curtain, again, through Amazon, shower curtain and carpet. And that came yesterday. So I cleaned the bathroom and hung up my new shower curtain. And then the one thing I was so mad about the bath mat that it came with, they had it like in a vacuum sealed bag. Well, it's a poofy kind of bath mat for the it's for the floor. And it was all scrunched up and wrinkled and it looked like crap. So um, I ended up sticking it in the tub and um, just wetting it. And um, I don't know if the, I don't, I don't know if all those creases are gonna come out or not, but um, I have it just over the tub in the bathroom drying, but um, so I did that, and um, I I don't know, you know how you kind of I think I'm going to do this, and that ends up leading to this, and this ends up leading to there, and there ends up le leading to well, you know, it's kind of like all I was going to do was clean up my craft room a little bit. Well, I ended up taking carpets out because my house has all um, original hardwood floors. I ended up taking carpets out, moving carpets around, sweeping, lifting things, cleaning out the room, moving the dining room table. The, yeah, yeah, right even to my bedroom, taking that carpet off and swapping that carpet into downstairs. Oh, yeah. Then mopping all the floors, doing the laundry, washing all the blankets washing the dog's blankets. So it's been a busy day. And um, again, I think my nervous energy from the rising of the river nearby. So then they were um, they were calling for this, this emergency thing came over my phone for a snow squall. Like, really? Is that something new? So anyhow, like imminent danger. A snow wall is coming so I thought oh wonderful so I looked at the dog and I said do you want to go for a walk yeah so here I am right yeah you would think I would know better yeah let's go for a walk imminent danger snow squalls coming I'm gonna go for a walk so we I took her for a walk I wanted to check out the river and see and um, ended up you know uh, started to come back well then the skies like opened up they were black when the wind started and the snow started flying, oh my goodness, it was like I was in the tundra. <laughs> I couldn't wait to get home and I think my dog was kind of like, yeah, this wasn't such a great idea. 
but anyhow, so came home, uh, warmed up a cup of coffee, and uh, finished with the laundry, and then I was just like, oh, I just got to lay down and take a little nap before I can continue my day. So I did, and uh, woke up, and uh, decided, well, you know, let's come upstairs, because by this time, I see some few, a few little threads I just want to get before we go on. Um, my craft room was still not put back together yet. There was still stuff piled. The hall still had things. Um, yeah. So, um, ended up putting everything back here in my craft room. And then, of course, I had to sweep the steps because the steps were a mess from dragging carpets up and down. I'm telling you. And, and what time is it? Let me look. It's 20 after 5 in the... I guess evening time, if that's what you want to call it. This is really cute, because look, at it does that little stitch around there. You can use a different color, but I kind of like to stick it, stick with the same color. But, um, so here I am, and I thought, well, I think I can do a video. I think I'm going to do some embroidery. Okay, next is going to be the little chick's feet. So, of course, I'm going to go with orange for that. They kind of look like a burnt orange on the screen. It looks like number 225 on the screen. But um, I think I'm going to go with like a orangey orange. Is that such a thing? Orangey orange. Let's see this one. Yeah, that's good. So this is uh, Thread Nanny uh, 209. That's what I'm using for my feet. So anyhow, um, I did end up getting my craft room back together again and decided let's sit and relax. Oh, so before all this, I'm like, you know, I really need to go to the grocery store. So I'm kind of running out of like groceries. And I just been, I mean, I'm on, a, you know, a low carb, no sugar kind of diabetic diet. This girl that I've been, that I work with, she's been having like, they get pizza every Saturday. And uh, Amy, if you're watching, hello. And uh, she usually for lunch brings in pizza so every day this week she has been bringing in pizza and i'm just like i love pizza i so want pizza i bet i don't want to go anywhere and well the only place i really order is domino's you know i mean if i had a boyfriend or a husband or something i would you know definitely order somewhere else and let him go get it but i ordered domino's i had earned a free one so I thought, well, you know what, I'm just going to use my free coupon, and then I use another coupon to get another one, and then, you know, I'll just tray freeze it, throw it in the freezer, and I'll have it. So I ordered the one, just a regular Brooklyn-style plain pizza, but the free one I ordered, um, oh, now we're going to do outline of our chick, so I'm going to change to yellow for that. I ordered um, the, the um, hand, is it hand toss? No, what do they call that? What do they call that? Um, I don't know, handmade or something. And I thought, oh, it'd be good to have a pineapple and ham on it. How many of you like Hawaiian pizza? Raise your hand. Me. So I ordered that. Oh my gosh. And I, I, I swear it was like 15 minutes and it was left on my porch. I do that um, delivery where no contact. So just left the, you know, put the tip in there. And um, you could do your tip online, and I did that. And um, I swear it was 15 minutes, and there it was, boom, on my porch. And the guy was really good, or girl, I don't know who delivered it, because I wasn't paying attention. Now here's another time where you can cut that center out if you want to. But I have this cute yellow. Let me see if you're gonna see through it. No, I don't think you could see through it. I have this cute polka dot yellow. And we're going to stitch this down. We're going to do another applique. Um, but, oh my gosh, can I tell you how delicious that was? I swear, it tasted like like it wasn't left like old or anything. It was so yummy. So I did have that. And, um, yeah, that's, that's my day. Okay, so now I'm going to trim around that little chick. I think this is going to be, oops, I'm so sorry. This is going to be super cute. 
Here comes my heat coming on. You can hear my uh, radiator here. Kind of makes like a little ticking noise. Let me cut out this first. My nose is itchy. Oh my goodness, my nose is itchy. Um, let me just trim this out. So, so yeah, my house is kind of straightened up now and oh my gosh, my nose, it must be the fabric or something, but, um, so I kind of feel good that I got all those things done. You know, like when you have things on your mind that you want to get done, um, now still my bathroom, um, I have a cabinet that I bought. Oh, I hit you again with my scissors that time that has to be assembled. So my daughter is going to, and her husband are going to, and the family, they're going to come down next weekend. And um, Mike said that he'll put the cabinet together and hang it for me in the bathroom. And I'm just like so happy. You know, it's little things. Okay, I'm going to stick with the same yellow. And it's going to do the outline of the chick. And look at how cute this is coming out. I love it. So if you don't know, Sweet Pea has a Facebook group. Actually, they have multiple Facebook groups. They have, um, every month they have a, a stitch along challenge. A few of them actually. One is a KISS, a keep it simple. I don't know what it stands for. Keep it simple something. And um, you can get the design at 30% off during that month only. So it's a let it sew one. I have a posting on it on my um, Sweet Bee Embroidery Facebook page. I'll put the, the name of my uh, Embroidery Facebook page where I post all the things that I make so you can see it. It's really cute and you can make it and post it on their Facebook page. They have a specific page for it. And, oh, pardon me. And they give out um, prizes. And then there's another one um, Get what the other one's called, but they have multiple Facebook pages. So, and then they have their regular Sweet Pea Facebook page, and you can make their designs and post whatever you make on there. And um, hey, you never know, you may win, right? I'm all about that. Win, win a free design or you know, a gift certificate to use toward a design. Why not? But I just have to say, I absolutely love their designs. I think everything that they uh, design and everything that's made is top-notch. And uh, I don't know what that noise is. I think I'm, it's about time to change my needle. Maybe because it's just going through so many layers. I don't know. You kind of get to, to learn the sound of your machine. How many of you realize that after stitching with it for so long, you're kind of like, yeah, something didn't sound right, you know? Let me stop it. That little squeak is getting a little louder. Which I know, I've been saying for how long now that... It, um, it's going to have to go in for service, but you know, it's winter time and it's about an hour drive one way and I've been putting it off and um, I just make sure I clean it out all the time. I do my regular maintenance that um, is recommended that you do without getting into anything special in the machine and try to keep it clean and uh, you know, treat it with kindness. But it will have to be going in soon, and I know that. But there's just so many projects that we want to do, right? I do have a backup machine, but um, when you're working with a Cadillac and you go down to, you know, uh, an older machine, you kind of get spoiled by all the bells and whistles of this machine. So, um... The other one is a second-hand one I bought. It's a PE770, and the largest frame on is 5x7, so I very well could do this in there. It takes a little bit slower. It doesn't have the nice screen on it with the steps. So, um, you know, if need be, I can always pull that one out while this one's uh, 
goes for the shop, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but anyhow, and I know I have a few of you that are always saying, you should take it in, you should take it in. But and I know you keep telling me, and I know, so don't tell me again. I know. I know, I know. I have all of you that keep commenting when you're doing the next uh, next video well, how about a video on that you're making this how about a video I mean so I don't know where I would fit in maintenance with all these videos that everyone keeps requesting and Easter's coming now so I have all the Easter projects I want to make and I decided um, if you watch my one other video I don't know which one it was when I was making all those little cute little Easter treat holders I decided I'm not gonna do that craft show in March um, I don't know, it's just too much pressure. I mean, I know I have a ton of stuff here that I've already had made. And if anybody has any suggestion about, you know, how I could um, sell them. And I don't want to open an Etsy shop because I've heard too many horror stories about Etsy. And I don't, I don't like Marketplace because I don't want to be like, depending on trying to meet somebody at a certain time and they don't show up. I've heard horror stories about that. So if anybody has any idea as to um, how I can go about selling all the things that I've made, please let me know. Okay, the next thing is going to be the beak. So I think I'm going to go, um, I think with a gold. Like a gold. I have a gold right here that I've been using. I'm going to do the beak with gold. I don't want to do orange um, just because. I've already done orange on the feet, and I, I don't know, is their beak supposed to match their feet? Who knows? But I'm going to do this gold color. Oh, and I didn't tell you what color it was, so it's just a quick little minute. We're almost done. We only have a couple more steps, and we'll be done with this one, and I can move on to the tea. Yeah, you can kind of see that. Yeah, you can see it. Okay, so what's the next part? Oh, the top of the beak, I think. I'm just going to stick with the same color. I think it's the bottom of the beak and the top of the beak. I don't know. I'm just going to do the same color. I think I probably do need to change the needle. Uh, next is the eyes. Yeah, it was just, I don't know, the top of the beak and the bottom of the beak. Why would you want two different colors? Okay, so this gold color was Thread Nanny and it's three, two, nine. All right, so now we need black for the eyes. And I guess you can do the other. Now I'm doing a little um, thread chicken. This is my black. I do have a larger spool of black there, but sometimes it's um, it's coming near the end of it on the bigger spool, and sometimes it kind of sticks a little bit. So, to figure out um, how to set that up so it doesn't. All right, so let's do the eyes, and then there's white. I don't know what the white is for. And then it shows me the yellow. And then that's it. I have to see what the white is for. I can't really tell. Maybe the this little green thing, maybe there's a flower there or something. I don't know. We'll see. But thanks so much for all of the uh, new subscribers. Um, I really do appreciate you. Oh, there is. It must be like a flower or something, but you can't see. I think I'm just I'm gonna do white. I think I'm gonna do white and see what happens here. So let me get my white threaded. And somebody had commented on um, one of my videos about you know taking your thread and knotting it and just pulling it through so you don't have to rethread it. I don't mind rethreading. The rethreading is so easy. 
and it threads the needle by itself so um, I don't mind it at all okay I'm gonna do white I think it's a little flower on the end of this green I think the white will be good we'll see two minute stitch for that and then the yellow oh maybe it's a daisy I'm gonna stop this because that thread there Come on, it won't leave. I think maybe it's a daisy flower or something. Of course, it would tell you in the directions if I were to look. But yeah, I think that's what it is. And the yellow must be the center. It's cute. Yeah, that's what it is. definitely going to change the needle. I think that's what that noise is that I hear. I think it's the, the needle puncturing before we end up with a problem. Well, that's a cute little flower. Oh my gosh, I love it. I think you could kind of see it. Let me know. Can you see that? I'll show you when it's done. I love that flower. This is just such a cute project to make. to get what I'm going to make out of this if I'm going to make it like a, a quilt wall hanging. I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. I have a place in my living room over one of my closet doors that I like to hang banners on. And I think this would be cute there. Okay. So now we're just, I'm going to trim this thread and I'm going to change to um, a yellow center and then we'll be done. So maybe while this one's uploading, I may work on the tea. This is the five by seven size. And that's it. That was it, folks. All right, a little piece of thread there. Thread from there. A piece of thread on the eyeball. So let's take it out. I'm sorry, it's a little squeaky there. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so there is our S. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Let's um bring next to that our let's do our E A. Here's our A. This is gonna be bright and colorful. <laughs> you know, if this is too bold for you, then you know you pick fabrics that are your style, but I think it's so fun. I really, really like it. I really like it. So, um, I still have that little, my little embroidery scissors. I got them in my Creative Notions. Huh, I thought they were right there. I had them in my Creative Notions. Um, oh, here they are. Recent subscription bag. And these would be perfect. Oh, look at that. I was struggling. These cute little scissors, they were in my Creative Notions subscription bag love those 
So there we go. There's our S. And um, next up, finish sewing. Okay. Next, I'll work on the T. Let's see what the T is going to be. Let me clear that design. Go into the designs. This should be block four. And the T. Oh, the T is an Easter egg. How cute. So I think I'm going to work on that next, but I will stop here and um, let this video upload and uh, come back and work on the T one with you all. So again, thanks for joining me. Be sure to uh, check out previous embroidery videos. And again, I really would appreciate if you subscribe. It just helps my channel, helps YouTube know that you enjoy it, and it helps promote it to other people, and the more the merrier. So have a wonderful day wherever you are, and I look forward to seeing you here again real soon. Bye-bye for now.